Oh, Buck, uh, in the end, what matters is you came out on top. Very interesting game. Um, good guys won. Interesting. I don't know. I completely agree with you, but uh, we'll take them anywhere we can get them. I, I thought Cash was yeah. a difference. He was solid. You know, didn't give up a ball hit on the barrel the first inning. Gave up two runs. It's just and you know that touch test your mental toughness, especially after last time. He could go that here we go again, or he can you know, bow up and do what he did. Seven strong innings, and uh, I thought Mike Wright gave us some, some yeah. big innings, and he gave up a broken bat single, too. But you know, but we got some luck back at us with the two line drives in the last inning. What is it about Castor and his ability to stay composed? Because in that first inning, a couple of plays behind him should have been made warrant, but yet he didn't let it get away. Well, that's the challenge that our pitching staff has faced here for, uh, recently, and, and uh, it's been a challenge for us all year. Is and you know, I was just talking to him about it in the clubhouse. That's that's the difference in, in guys that you know you do what you can do, and if we don't convert the the balls that should be out, you you just got to keep pitching. And with uh, some of the challenges he had tonight, uh, not self-inflicted, that makes it even more impressive. And you save the speed guys for late in the game, the pinch run, and they both come around to Mancini's double. Uh, Joey Rickard stealing the base, I thought was big because it, it really put the pressure on them. Yeah, you know, with Romo, that's one of his, his things we knew going in that you can can press on him. And um, same way with the with Glass now last night, but we didn't get many people on base. Um, you know, those people that get free pizza after 10 strikeouts, I was afraid we were going to lose half the crowd in the fourth inning. But, uh, uh, you know, Trey was sitting on a breaking ball the whole at bat. It even took a 3-0 fastball down the middle when he was hitting because he was sitting on a breaking ball, and, and he converted. And finally, uh, about Mark Trumbo, he's now hitting 10 straight games. And what's so impressive to watch with him is he just hits it wherever they pitch it. Opposite field home run, his fourth opposite field home run of the year. Yeah, and Mark's doing this with a sore knee. That's you know, Some days it's good, some days it's not. You know, fortunately here, he's not out on that turf. But uh, you know, Mark's been one of our more consistent hitters here for a while. Well, congratulations on the win. Appreciate the visit. All right. Thanks, Jim.